know so many moms that buy these expensive SLR cameras and they never end up using them. Well, hopefully I can help change that. I shot the Nikon D90 in manual mode. Yes, that's the big M on the dial. I love shooting in manual, and you will too. Once you get your exposure set, you can pretty much leave it there for the remainder of the shoot. For this shoot, I shot with a zoom lens, but I ended up hanging out around 50 millimeters. My ISO was set to 1600, and I had my f-stop as wide as I could get it, which ended up being around f4.5. I always decide on the f-stop that I want to use first. In this case, I always want to shoot as wide open as possible. So with an f-stop of 4.5, my shutter speed ended up being around 1 1 25th of a second. Remember to always expose for the skin. What I did when taking test shots is look on the back of the camera for a nice exposure. Then I would adjust the shutter speed accordingly, whether I needed it lighter or darker. The best time to photograph a newborn baby is anywhere from four days old to about two weeks old. Piper Jane is 10 days old. She is still so sleepy and tiny, and it's the perfect time to do it. The first and most important thing to think about when you're getting ready to take a photograph is the light. Today, we're going to be using window light. Window light is one of my absolute favorite light sources. It's soft light, it's even light, and everybody has a window in their house. It's the perfect light to photograph a newborn baby. The best window in your house is probably the biggest window. We don't want actual sun rays coming in the window. We just want a soft directional flow of light that can float right over the baby and light every part of her. Another important thing when you're photographing a newborn baby is you want to have the room really warm. I have a space heater in here and I'm probably going to be sweating profusely throughout the shoot, but it's worth it. It keeps the baby really comfortable, it keeps them asleep longer, and it's just an all around better experience for the baby. The perfect thing to use when posing a newborn is a bean bag. They're perfect because you can conform them to their body, they're really comfortable in here, and it really just eliminates a background. When you're positioning the bean bag in front of the window, you want to get as close to the window as possible. We don't want to have to deal with a lot of shadow, so the closest you can get to the light source, the more evenly it's going to skim across her. For this cocoon shot with Piper, I wanted to make sure to always keep her little legs crossed. They love being in the fetal position. They love being tucked in tight and close, so keep their little legs crossed, get their little arms in close to them, and they'll just be so comfortable. I'm going to shoot as wide open as I can, so that's about a 4.8 f-stop. The way I created those last shots was I put a black throw right over the bean bag, and it was the perfect way to highlight her skin. And it looks like she's floating, and I love that look. So as you can see, Piper started to wake up again. She was halfway in between waking up and dreamland. And that's one thing with digital, just keep shooting. You never know what you'll get. You see the light is coming right in and just right across her. So you wanna make sure the baby is in a part of the window where the light is actually, the direction of the light is actually right in front of. It's lighting every part of her nice and evenly. So right now, Piper is what we like to call a little bit milk drunk. <laughs> so before you do a newborn shoot, you want to make sure they're nice and well fed and that just kind of takes them to another dimension. I do want to stress though, that if you don't have a bean bag or you don't have a black throw, you can use other things around your house. You can use a big pillow. If you have a favorite blanket or a scarf or something that you really love, incorporate it into the shoot. It makes it a lot more fun. Another great tool to use when posing a newborn is a boppy. It's the perfect shape and you can lay their body right here in the center and it's so comfortable for them. You can get them in a lot of neat positions using the boppy. So what I did to create those last shots was I used the boppy and then I put this white rug over it. I love the texture of this. It's so soft and yummy and it's the perfect background for a newborn baby. 
So we're gonna put this little hat on her and she's gonna lay right in here and we might try to do one on her stomach and one on her back. We'll just kind of see how what different positions we can get her in. So you wanna always try to cross their feet right here. And just hold them there till they one thing that's nice about shooting in window light and manual mode is I pretty much use the same exposure from the previous shot. My f-stop was 4.5 and my shutter speed was still at 1 1 25th of a second. Always remember to get a different viewpoint. Once you have your shot from a certain angle, don't be afraid to mix it up. I decided to get on the bed and shoot down on Piper, and I just absolutely love the look that it created. I love creating shots using Daddy. He is honestly the best prop that I can think of. It really helps to show exactly how small she is. It also creates that emotional impact that we all love. <laughs> I had a professor at Brooks Institute that always used to say, just when you think you have a really great shot, turn around and look behind you. This is kind of what I was thinking when I decided to put the window behind Mark and Piper. I still exposed for their skin, which blew out the background window. This created a very high key effect, and I love the image that it created. Just kind of getting the head and the hands so you can just see exactly how small she is. I loved using Mark as a prop for this next series of shots. I made sure to get a wide shot with Mark and Piper, but then I decided to move in and get a close-up of Piper, and Mark's black t-shirt served as the perfect background for her. So once you get your wide shot, always remember to get in close. Once you have a great shot set up, don't forget to jump in yourself. I had an extra set of hands there, so I got my camera set, handed it to my mom, and she got some great shots of the three of us. If you don't have an extra set of hands, put it on a tripod. You'll love these shots. Once again, I loved using Daddy as a backdrop for Piper. What I did this time was I had Mark positioned behind Piper, so that when I focused on Piper, Mark became blurry and kind of faded away and she popped out and it was all about her. You knew dad was there, but the image was all about Piper. <laughs> you really can't get too many close-ups of a newborn baby. Everything is so fresh and new and so tiny, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. So don't be afraid to get in close. You'll be surprised with how powerful an image you can create. All moms are natural photographers. We just can't help but want to preserve every little moment, every little feature, because they're not gonna be this little forever. So start today, you won't regret it.